millions and millions of people here in the United States are currently worried. And they're worried because the Biden administration has vowed to eliminate gas, try to eliminate oil. They're trying to go electric. That's the goal, is to go all electric. This is electric vehicles, okay? This is using solar, this is using wind, whatever we need to do to, re to use renewable energy. That's the goal, okay? Now, why is this a problem? Well, this is a problem because before, the Biden administration was just trying to provide tax credits to people that bought you know, electric vehicles, provide tax credits for people that put solar panels on the roof of their homes. Well, things are going a little bit sideways now. And this is what is concerning because now it is involving our children and our schools. I wanna address what was just announced from the Biden administration just recently and how this could impact you moving forward. So all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So the Biden administration has again announced a new bill. They're gonna provide $1 billion. Okay? They're unveiling a $1 billion plan for electric and low emission school buses. That's actually pretty big. But what we know is that they are going to provide $1 billion in funding. It's going to go to uh, about 2,700 electric and low emission school buses across 37 states. 37 states. So we're missing a handful, but at least 37 states will get about 2,700 school buses. Electric, that is. Now, here's what I want to show you. It says right here, the awards are the second part of funding of a $5 billion five-year initiative from the bipartisan infrastructure law. It says in total, the US Environmental Protection Agencies, or the, the EPA, clean, bus, clean School Bus Program has awarded nearly $2 billion and funded approximately 5,000 electric and low emission school buses nationwide. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why, why is this an issue? How could this backfire? What, what are we looking at here? Well, here's the problem. And there's many problems here, but I'll just go and name a few. One of them right here, this is it's talking about it. it says out of the 2737 new school buses nationwide, 95% will be electric, the White House said. There are roughly half a million school buses across the US used by public schools. A recent Office of Inspection uh, General's report found that EPA's clean bus program could be delayed by local utility companies trying to meet demand for electric school buses. This is the problem. According to experts, they say there is a, a big issue amongst utility companies because many are saying that they will not be able to meet the power supply demand for electric school buses. Some cities are struggling and some electric companies are struggling because of the influx of the amount of uh, electric vehicles. This is turning into a problem because now we're seeing shortages of electricity simply because so many people at certain times they get home, they plug in their electric car. That is turning into a crisis because now some cities are having to regulate the amount of power certain areas actually receive. And so this is one of the reasons why we are continuing to see rolling blackouts, whether it's in the summer, the spring, or right now in the winter time. Well, Guess what? When things are really cold and we are having a, you know, a freezing temperature or whatever, guess what? You could be like these people in Chicago just recently that plugged in their Teslas, uh, some overnight, and in eight hours, they received very little increases in their battery charge. Some went from like 13% to 15. Others went from 35% to 45 to 50%. One person said they left their car plugged in all night and it went up 1%. That is because it's too cold to charge electric vehicles. Now, here's where things get somewhat interesting though. School buses, they don't go a long ways. They take very short trips. They may drive for a little while, but they're very short. They, they go, they stop, they go, they stop, they transport children, right? Well, here's a concern. If it's too cold out, 
guess what? Frigid weather actually cuts into the electric vehicle's range and makes it harder to charge. The same happens when it's too hot. Something that happened just recently, actually this past summer, is it got so hot, and I can't remember in which city, but I believe it was in California, it got so hot that the electric, um, the charging mechanism, okay, that actually melted to the machine. It was so hot. And so it melted to the machine. Well, what if that melts to the school bus? You, we spend you know millions of dollars on school buses just to see that they do not work. Okay, so why is this turning into an issue? Well, for a handful of reasons. One issue that we're facing right now is that many school teachers and uh, school districts, complete administrations, they're simply asking for an increase in funding. Then they need it from their state, they need it from the federal government to increase funding to public schools so they can hire more teachers. They can fix uh, dilapidated buildings, right? Things like that. Well, now we're not seeing an increase to funding. We're not seeing an increase to funding to uh, fix buildings and re restore them. Now we're seeing a, a change where we're moving you know, money over to go EV, to put solar panels on top of buildings. Now, obviously this could work. In the long run, yes, going electric could work, but the problem now is that some are saying that the Biden administration is forcing electric vehicles onto people. It's forcing solar power onto people. And that is something that people don't want. Everybody wants to make their own decisions, make up their own mind. They don't want to be forced into believing whatever it is one person is saying. And this is one of the things I always try to do here on this channel is I try to give you both sides of the story. Because there, there does come a time where electric makes sense. An electric vehicle absolutely made sense when gas prices were $5 per gallon. And that was nationwide in the United States. That made sense. But does it make sense when gas prices are not at $5 per gallon? Well, that's where some say no. It doesn't make sense. I want to show you this really quick. Okay. I want to show you what gas prices are right now. Just to give you an idea. Here we go. So gas prices today are $3.09. This is as of today. This is our national average here in the United States. Okay. If we scroll down here, we can see what it was. Okay. This is our current average. It's $3.09. Yesterday it was $3.08. Week ago, $3.08. A month ago, $3.12. A year ago, $3.44. Well, guess what? The high for regular was $5.01. This was back on 6-14-2022. So about a year and a half ago. At that time, it made sense to move away from gasoline and go electric. But now, and this is a huge concern that many people are talking about, is climate change. If we're seeing uh, this, uh, so much climate change over the past you know, handful of years, the problem is, is gasoline or is electric going to be better? Well, this is where some are saying the Biden administration could be making a mistake that is going to backfire and hurt millions of people because now they're forcing electric vehicles onto people, forcing electric buses, forcing uh, putting solar panels onto homes, trying to make uh, your stove, your refrigerator, a washer and dryer machine, trying to make them more energy efficient. Some are saying it's just increasing our costs now, but it may not make a difference in two, three, or five years. So we're gonna see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is that millions of people are worried right now because if the Biden administration is trying to eliminate the usage of gas and oil, well, that could create an issue, especially if electric vehicles are not the way of the future. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What do you think about the Biden administration coming out and trying to provide an additional $1 billion to uh, schools, but not for teachers' salaries, not for buying books, potentially books in Spanish, English, French, German, whatever, because of this uh, influx of migrants. What do you think about that? Let me know down in the comment section below. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.